Hello friends, have you ever thought that it isn't only people that can be sophisticated and dexterous in their insidious affairs? We sure know many examples of con men that were able to evade responsibility for years, masterfully hiding in some quiet place and only reappearing once in a while for more forays. But that's people. It doesn't surprise anyone when they behave this way. But what if I told you that it wasn't only people, but also some representatives of the animal world that are capable of such behavior? And not the smartest ones, I might add, but rather the ones that were considered to be not that sharp. Are you surprised? Then you should definitely watch this story about one cunning and thoughtful villain of the animal world. He even became famous, but first things first. What's the first thing that comes to mind when you hear the word ram? We know many sayings featuring this animal, such as stubborn as a ram. There are many similar expressions, but most of them usually point to the same thing the limited mental capabilities of this animal, to put it mildly. But as they say, there are exceptions to every rule. So the hero of our story today is a ram from New Zealand named Shrek. He was an ordinary ram living on an ordinary farm, enjoying his life in the company of other ordinary sheep, being seemingly no different from his relatives. Shrek was of the Merino breed. This breed needs to be shorn at least once a year by a special technique. While other breeds can shed their wool on their own, the Merino sheep are simply incapable of doing so. Be it as it may, our hero must have not enjoyed the shearing process. He did like walking on the green meadow and basking in the sun, but he liked his wonderful wool even more. And it so happened that right on the eve of the shearing day, Shrek escaped from the farm and headed for the mountains. No one knows what affected him so much. Was it witnessing his relatives being shorn or simply stubbornness? But somehow he managed to open the gate on his own. Seeing the open gate and missing one stubborn but proud ram, the owners quickly realized what dreadful fate was awaiting him. They understood that he simply wouldn't be able to survive alone in the mountains, as the countless dangers, such as wolves and other predators, were waiting for him at every turn. So they just resigned themselves to the loss. But as it turned out, our guy was tougher than he seemed. It had been many years since the great escape, and no one expected to see the prodigal son ever again, but he did return. One day, the locals saw a strange animal proudly walking on the mountainside. They couldn't figure out who or what they were seeing, but when they realized who that was, they were shocked to say the least. Yes, friends, it was that same Shrek. As it turned out, our runaway had been hiding in the caves for six years and had grown so much wool that he simply scared away the predators with his presence. Rumor has it that wolves chased the ram out of the mountains because they couldn't bite through his wool to get to the tasty parts. And in the meantime, Shrek walked near the pack of wolves with his head held high, showing them how powerless they were against his armor. When the locals saw the ram near the mountains after six long years, he was three times the size of a regular merino sheep and looked more like a mythical beast than a sheep. The ram's wool was so overgrown that he virtually couldn't see anything and certainly couldn't run away. But in all honesty, he didn't even try, seeing as how he was wearing the heavy armor the locals had to arrange a real ambush, and when they finally did catch the ram, they were able to track him to a specific farm by his tag. After that, the cunning animal was returned to his owner, a farmer named John. When I first saw Shrek after the six long years, I couldn't believe that it was him. I thought that wolves had eaten him a long time ago. But apparently, this guy was able to stand up for himself. I looked at him, and he reminded me of some kind of biblical creature, the farm owner later told in an interview. It's also worth noting that shearing is a very important production process in sheep breeding. It doesn't just benefit the farmers, but also the animals themselves. In order for the animal to feel well, it needs to be shorn regularly, according to a schedule and a certain pattern. But our hero decided to live by his own rules. Returning to civilization, Shrek didn't just become a hero in the eyes of his relatives, increasing his street credit, but also became a real celebrity. Rumors about the overgrown runaway quickly spread around New Zealand, and more than 1,000 people came to see him get shorn. Shrek was shorn live on national television in New Zealand, forcing John to sweat a lot. As for Shrek, he went through this experience in his usual manner, with his head held high and with no fear in his eyes. When the shearing process was over, the weight of the cut wool was almost 30 kilograms, which would be enough to make 20 men's suits of the largest size. For comparison, Shearing an ordinary sheep gives about four kilograms of wool, so they got seven times more wool from Shrek. 
The giant fleece was sold for several thousand dollars, and all the proceeds were donated to a charity foundation for the treatment of sick children. After the grand shearing, the ram became a real hero, not just among the sheep, but among people as well. He became famous even far beyond the country's borders. He even got to personally meet the Prime Minister of New Zealand, Helen Clark, which isn't something most people can do. Not to mention sheep. So Shrek became his country's favorite. His living conditions were made very comfortable. A clean paddock, delicious food, a separate suite where he could relax. Two and a half years after the live shearing, Shrek was shorn in front of cameras once again. But this time, the process took place on an iceberg that was floating off the coast of New Zealand. And again, a significant amount was earned for selling his wool. The celebrity animal runaway enjoyed his glory and benefits of civilization for a long time until he was 16 years old when he died. It's interesting that an average sheep lives to a maximum of six years, so we can be confident that Shrek lived a really long and interesting life. His owner John only ever remembers him with a smile. This Merino sheep was incredible. He had an unpredictable personality and beautiful looks. But what's most interesting is that he had an opinion about everything, which was really strange, as we are talking about a ram after all, said the owner. But it wasn't the end of Shrek's story, because even after his death, he became the hero of several children's books and cartoons. During his lifetime, he traveled all over the country with his owner, performing at various charity concerts. A bronze monument was even erected in the ram's hometown. For a long time, no one could break Shrek's record for the amount of sheared wool. But just recently, another wild merino sheep was seen in the forest of Australia, wearing a giant wool hat. But that's a completely different story. And the story of our hero, a runaway, whom even wolves couldn't eat, is probably one of the most interesting in the animal kingdom. So friends, how did you like this unusual animal runaway who simply dreamed of freedom? Be sure to let us know what you think in the comments. And that's it for today. Don't forget to like and rate our video. See you soon. Bye.